All right, so today we're going to continue on. Uh, we are going to talk about community interactions today. So we're going to start with competition. So one type of community interaction is competition. It occurs when more than one organism uses a resource at the same time. Okay, so think of it as like they're competing uh, for the same resource at the same time. Okay. So resources could be food, they could be water, they could be space, they could be light. All right, our second type of interaction is predation. Okay, so think predator and prey. So predation is just the act of one organism pursuing and consuming another organism for food. So here you can see, I think this is a bobcat. What do you all think? What is this? Here it is. It's, yeah, it's chasing after the bunny. And our third type of uh, community interaction is just a symbiotic relationship. So some species end up surviving because of the close relationships they form with other species nearby. So in your notes, I do want you to put down the definition of symbiosis. So symbiosis is just a close relationship that exists when two or more species live together. And that doesn't necessarily mean it's a positive relationship. Okay, so on the next slide, um, we're going to talk about different types of symbiotic relationships. Um, some are beneficial, some are kind of neutral, and some are more harmful. Okay. Um, so don't just think symbiosis is always this positive, great thing. All right, so today we're going to look at three different types of symbiosis. Uh, one is mutualism. The second is commensalism. And the third one is parasitism. Okay. Um, so go ahead and just write those three words down. And then on the next three slides, uh, we'll talk about each one of those in depth. All right, so our first symbiotic relationship is mutualism. This is when both organisms live in close proximity to each other and they both benefit from the other one, okay? Um, so everyone benefits. An example of this relationship is the oxpecker and the zebra. So the oxpecker um, eats any sort of like pests or fleas off the zebra. So it benefits because it gets easy food, right? It's not exerting a lot of energy um, to get that meal. The zebra also benefits because it's, it gets its own personal pest control, okay? Um, so mutualism is when um, both species benefit. If you want on your notes, I would encourage you to draw these little smiley faces, okay? So mutualism, uh, both benefit, okay? So two smiley faces. Our second type of symbiotic relationship is called commensalism. This is when one of the organisms benefit and the other isn't harmed, but it's not helped either. So it's just like neutral. Um, so an example of this relationship is clownfish and sea anemones. Um, so clownfish can like live inside the sea anemone, so that provides them shelter. They can also pick up like scrap food from the sea anemone. So the clownfish benefits, How does it do and it? then the sea anemone um, it doesn't benefit, but it also isn't harmed. The clownfish does no harm to the anemone. Um, yeah, so the anemone like not helped. And yeah, but it's fine. So for this one, if you want to draw the smiley faces. One's a smiley face, okay? One's benefiting. The other's just like neutral, okay? So just like a neutral face. And then our third uh, symbiotic relationship is parasitism. And the word parasitism, do you hear the word parasite? Okay, so here like parasitism, parasite. Um, so this is when one organism benefits at the expense of another organism. Um, so an example of this one that probably most of you are familiar with are heartworms and dogs. Okay, so if your dog ends up with heartworms in it, the heartworms end up benefiting, right? So they have a habitat um, where they get to live inside. This is the heartworm. They also get a lot of nutrients. Okay. Now, does your dog benefit from having a heartworm in it? Definitely not. Is it unharmed? No, right? So it harms the dog, right? So your dog um, will end up getting sick with lots of different issues. Now, uh, when it comes to parasites, they're just going to harm the host. It's not in a parasite's favor to kill the host because if they kill their host, 
do they no longer have a nice habitat and nutrients? Right? So it takes away the good stuff. So, just trying um, to survive. Yeah, parasites still want to survive. So they harm the host. They try not to kill the host. If we're going back to the picture example, so one benefits, the other one is harmed.